Welcome back. My name is Jason. I work at All Out Bikes, if you don't already know. And we are back on this 1979 Schwinn Dustang. These are very rare BMX bikes. Not many of them around. In the previous video, we installed the decals for this, and they look amazing. I love the way they look. Uh, but you've actually got to see this. One of the commenters was saying that, uh, you know, pointing out that I put the decals on uh, crooked and all of these were hand laid and they were hand laid by people who were trying to get the, to the next project. The decal on right here is the original one and it is so crooked. Let me uh, show you. If you can't tell the decal here is actually twisted this way. It's kind of hard to see, but it's further away from the frame there than it is over on this side right over here. So this is really crooked. So when you're putting these decals on, it's nice to get them nice and straight, but you don't have to get them perfect. And the decals here on the down tube on Whenever I replaced it, I don't know if I showed it in the video, but on the video, you see that the decal is really close to the, the tape that I'd run across the frame here. It was, it was touching the front part on one side, and then on the other side, it was touching the back one, but this one wasn't. So the, the decals were actually really far off right there. I did get these more crooked than they were originally. They should have been turned a little bit. Uh, what I did was I actually lined up in the middle of the tube here and I shouldn't have done that. I should have lined it up a little bit more there but you know what that's okay because again these were all hand laid and I have had I've seen decals come in that were so crooked I was surprised that it left the factory. I even had a decal that was upside down on a bike. Let me see, what bike was that? That was a, uh, what was it? Let me see, that one was a, I can't remember which decal came in upside down, but I do remember a Specialized coming in and they had misspelled specialized on the drive side of the bike. Funny thing is, we built this bike up and sent a customer, you know, bought it. We made sure everything was good and he ended up leaving with the bike very happy. Well, he ended up coming back very unhappy. And when we say unhappy, this guy was actually yelling. He was very up, unhappy, but then again, he spent like $2,300 on this bike, and he uh, it took us a little while to figure out why he was unhappy, uh, because the Specialized was misspelled. Um, he ended up demanding a new frame, so we called up Specialized, got a new frame in, and uh, rebuilt the bike, which was funny because Specialized was just going to send us some new decals to put on the bike, but nope, the guy wanted a new frame. So we did put a, uh, build him up another bike. Uh, we took his old parts off of his bike, which were just a couple of weeks old, and put it onto the new frame and sent him on the way. And I guess he was satisfied. I really wanted this frame because I thought it was hilarious that Specialized was misspelled. But Specialized wanted that frame back, so we sent it back. But anyway, so what we're going to be doing on this bike today is I have some new tires for it because as you can see in this video right here, these tires are not the correct looking tires for this bike. Uh, what we have, see, this bike was from 1979, and the tires that were with this should have been the squared-off, blocky-style 
tires versus a comp three copy on the front and then what they call an a byte style on the back uh, this one was just I mean, it, it just had these tires put on just to make it rideable uh, but we are making this bike nicer and this isn't going to be the last video on this I would have had a video out yesterday but the video I started uh, ended up falling through uh, it just isn't ready to be done and that's why we didn't have a video out for Tuesday but let's go ahead and get these wheels off and depending on how the hubs are if the hubs have been serviced uh, we'll leave the hubs the way they are. If they haven't been serviced, we'll go ahead and uh, put some new grease in there. If the grease is clean, completely overhaul it. If the grease is nasty, this is just going to be a wall hanger. So uh, the grease really is going to have to be really nasty uh, for me to uh, overhaul the, the hub for now. But we may true up the wheels. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this uh, started. But I'm going to be talking while I'm doing this because, well, there's been some of the viewers that really have requested no time lapse. I find it more interesting to have the time lapse because you can actually see, you know, uh, what what's getting done well quicker. So let's see. Let's get this rear wheel off. So let's see, how does this hub feel? Hub feels really good. Up, oh, I see new grease in there. So apparently I've already serviced this before doing YouTube. Uh, I've actually had this bike for many years and I've been doing YouTube for, well, less, less time. <laughs> so, for those of y'all who don't work on your own bikes, fixing a flat is actually pretty easy. You just take the wheel off. If, uh, if it's already flat, you don't have to worry about letting the air out. If you're changing the tire and the tube is fine, then of course you need to let the air out. And as you saw, you just get one of these convenient little tire levers and you just pry it underneath the bead of the tire and then pop it, you know, off. And what I do is I get my thumb and I kind of push down on the, uh, the, the bead to hold it in place where I reposition this tool and uh, prod off. Let's see. That looked like a nice tire, but that's one of those folding bead tires. Huh. Let's see if this wheel is needing some truing.
wheel is in pretty bad shape, but uh, I've got it. I've got it pretty true and fairly round, but it's not perfect. It needs uh, all new spokes and nipples, and I don't want to replace it. All right, so we're going to go with a 20 by 1.75 tire in the back. And we're going to go with a larger one in the front, a 2.125. Let's see, how bad is this old tube? That doesn't look too bad. Hmm. That's because it's not that old. Okay, so we're just going to reuse this tube since it looks good. We're going to let a little more air out. Put inside. No tool should be required to install the tube. I like to push the valve up to make sure that it's all the way in. The rubber is thicker near the valve and it likes to uh, to get underneath the, the bead of the tire and push it up and uh, cause a, uh, you know, the tube to go bad. Whether it explodes out the side or uh, causing it to pinch. That tire looks much better. Looks era correct. Let's give this a quick little wipe down here. We've got some steel wool here. And we're just going to kind of clean the rust up here. Since it's in such good shape, it's not going to require much. I'm loving it. It's a really pretty bike. get the chain good and tight here then I, I tighten the nut just a little bit and then I go to the other side and I tighten it a little bit more you know after I get the wheel roughly where I want it then I check the chain tension again 
and we want a tight spot and there's always going to be a little bit of a loose spot. So we're going to make this tight spot just a little bit tighter. Okay. Because we don't want too loose of a loose spot. And once you get everything where you want it, where the wheel's straight and the chain tension good, then you tighten one side a little more, and you tighten this side a little more, and you go back until you get it to the tightness that you want. So I cleaned the free will. Put a little bit of oil in there. Now you might need to readjust the, the brakes after you do some work to it. It's a little crooked. And I'm going to cheat on this. This is not the proper way. But if you don't have the right tools, which I do, but a real quick way is if you get the nut on the back side and you kind of start to turn it the direction you want while pulling on this front part it'll sometimes move it didn't so I'm going to loosen this nut some and then try it again and that is working so there we are These pedals are really loud. Okay, now let's do that front wheel. Loosen one side a little, go back to this side, loosen it a bit, and try not to let the axle turn. The axle is starting to turn, so I'm going to tighten this side, and then I'm going to go back to this side to loosen it a little, and then back. and the axle is turning. The reason why you don't want the axle to turn is because uh, you don't want it to go out of adjustment. If the, uh, if the axle starts turning, then sometimes your bearing adjustment goes out. It keeps on uh, messing with me here, so I'm gonna just get a 17 millimeter and I'm going to kinda hold it in place, which looks like I need a cone wrench. 17, 17, 17. Where is a 17? That looks like a 17, is it? It is. I'm going to hold the inner nut as I'm loosening the outer nut, and then it just comes undone. Bearings are good. It's got good grease in there. We're going to wipe the fork here because we've got, got a little bit of rust. Where'd I put my steel wool? Well, I, oh, here's some right here. We've just got a little bit of rust on here.
How are y'all doing? Be with you in just a second. Uh, yeah, Alright, so Zeke just showed up. I've got to hurry up and get out of his way. Uh, so what I mean, anytime you're you're cleaning the the rust off the bike you need to actually make sure that you uh, use a good gun oil or some other Teflon wet lube to wipe down the uh, the metal to keep it from rusting uh, you can also put a clear coat on there but eh, that's painting and I try to avoid that okay let's go ahead and put some of this oil in the crevices that's hard to get to and uh, we're gonna do some more cleaning to this but I just wanted to make a, a short video for y'all today since I wasn't able to get one out on time. Okay, so we've got our front tire here. Mr. Zeke, I want you to speak loudly for the camera and how long is it gonna take me to take this tire off and put the new one on? Minute 15 seconds. Minute 15 seconds. Would you care to get your phone? We're going to see. Okay. Tell me when. Go. Minute 15. So, cap. This is for changing the tire to the new one. Right? Yeah. So, we're putting a new tire on by taking this one off. You said a minute 15 seconds. I'm going to say it's going to take me 50 seconds. We're probably already there. And this is where I'm... I'm just going to be reusing the, the tube that's inside that thing. Okay, that's not going to happen. This tire is too thin. That tube is not going to want to go in there very easily. So this is going to take me... Uh, right yeah. 50 seconds. And you said what? Minute 15? Yeah. Pretty close to that. Nope. It's going to be longer. Really? Yep. Dang it, drop the valve cap. <laughs> All right, I am done. Minute 40. Minute 40, dang it. But at least I got the air pressure over the valve like I like to do, and it is on pretty darn good. All right. So, on it, I have to be honest it's uh it's not on perfectly it's slightly out right there so um, is just, just the dented ring oh yeah 
I don't I don't think that is you. I think that's the rim. <laughs> I don't think you did anything wrong there. Uh I think that's just that where it was. It's really got a huge there. dent in the rim. A huge outward dent, which is really unusual for the rim. No, this Isn't one's it? no, this one's a huge inward dent. Oh, yeah, it is. No, that's that's out. It's mushrooming. It's oh, not, that too. Yeah, okay. It's a mushroom. It's not. It's not normal. I'm not used to that kind of dip. So. Typically, they dip inwards, not outwards. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you've already got the radar. So this thing is looking really good. See, see like what I did with that decal. This is a torque. Oh no. No. It's not. Okay. no. Well, the top is kind of. No. No. No, it's it's uh, backwards. It's got a race part that's pressed in, and the cup is so it's reversed. There's a cup pressed into the frame here, but there's a race pressed into the to the frame at the top. Oh. All right, so. Let's take it outside and get a good look at it. Boy, that front wheel is real, real bad. really bad. I'm going to have to... This bike is turning out great. It's looking better and better, uh, but we still have some more to do. I still have to clean this up some. I need to true up the front wheel. I just got to get out of Zeke's way so he can get some uh, work done. So if you liked this video, please leave me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tell your friends and check out some of the other videos on the corner of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.